Hey man, and welcome back. And we have another powerful lesson here to help you be a better man, make more money, scale your business, and just live a more balanced and fulfilled life. And today we're gonna to talk about the most direct and efficient way to make more money and make the world a better place. So I've helped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, men included, men specifically, um, to really achieve their goals and live a life they really love. And, and at some level, everybody, most people, they want to make more money, but they also want to leave the world a better place than when they found it. If you're someone that just wants to make a bunch of money and ruin the world, you should probably stop watching this video. It's not going to vibe with you. But if you want income and impact, that's a, that's a sexy key phrase, right? I, I don't know where it came from. It's not mine. But that's what we're going to talk about today. And the biggest mistake that most people make, especially men, when they're like, I want to make a, uh, I want to make a lot of money, but I also want to, I want to change the world and I want to leave a positive legacy for my family, for my generational wealth, all this stuff, right? The biggest mistake is a lot of people will focus on doing whatever it takes to achieve the material wealth. And then they have this story in their mind that once they have it, then they're going to then become this altruistic, world-loving, peaceful person. But they turn into a stressful and almost egotistical, me, 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 me. They turn into this stressed out, imbalanced person in pursuit of the money. Now, why is that a problem? Because what you do a lot of, you will get better at. Right? That's why you can open a door like a pro or drive a car and text at the same time or walk and talk at the same time, right? Because you've done it over and over and over again that it becomes automatic. You don't even notice it anymore. Your body can do the action without your brain needing permission. Anything we do often, we get better at. Anything we get really good at, it becomes automatic. It becomes unconscious. It just becomes part of your personality. So I've seen countless people with the best intention in their heart say, I'm gonna make a lot of money and then I'm going to change the world. I'm going to spread love and peace and change people's lives. But what do they get really good at? Every single day they get really good at being stressful. Every single day they get really good at being reactive. Every single day they get really good at chasing and seeking and pursuing. And while there's nothing wrong with ambition and focus, those are two ingredients to success, they're beautiful, you need those. There's nothing wrong with those. But if every single day you wake up and you, and you put on your costume of stress and, and seeking and, and really going after it, what are you gonna get good at? That. You're gonna get so good at that that it's just gonna become automatic. Your, your body is just gonna start to do it without you ever giving it permission to. This is how any habit is formed, good or bad. And so I see a lot of men that they get stuck they permanently rewire their mind and their body to be stressed out, to be reactive, to focus on what's not there and what hasn't been done yet. And if you're in that state of seeking and never truly finding and never truly feeling full, how the hell are you going to deliver peace and love to the world? How are you going to positively impact the world? Because when it comes to real impact, true impact, it's how you make other people feel. That is true impact. Impact is not saying the right thing to, the, you know, to a person at the right time and it lacking emotional power. Impact is how you make someone feel with your actions or with your product or with your foundation or whatever it is that you do to go change the world. But how do, what really determines how we make other people feel, right? It's who we're being. It's not just saying the right thing. 80% of what we communicate is emotional and energetic. It's subconscious. So. Don't make the mistake of saying, I'm going to really, really become stressed out and really, really reactive and really stay in a state of seeking. I'm going to really stay stuck in this until I make money. And then I'm going to turn around and drastically change and become a different human at a cellular level and be nice and all altruistic and impactful. That is a mistake. The real way to do this is to embody it now. Embody it now. If you want to change the world through your positive influence, through your positive peace from your inner peace and how you make other people feel from your inspiration and your empowerment, you have to be that person now. And here's the trick. Here's the funny thing. It will actually make you more money in the long run. A lot of people make the mistake of, okay, I got to take who I truly am at my core and I have to hide it or I have to alter it or I have to filter it in order to go make money. But then once I make the money, I can finally let my true self out and go help the world. No, no, no. You are actually most valuable when you are using your talents free flowing, right? That is confidence. Confidence is the free flowing and free effectiveness of your talents and your personality. That's all confidence is. It's unrestricted you. 
And so if you want to really, again, go change the world and make more money, where are you most valuable? Are you most valuable when you are editing yourself and hiding yourself and stressfully reacting to other things? Is that when you are truly most valuable? A lot of people think that's what they have to do, but you don't. You are most valuable, right? Just like think of a hammer. A hammer is most valuable when it's hitting things. A screwdriver is most valuable when it's screwing things in, right? But if you were to flip-flop those tools for their jobs, they wouldn't be very valuable, right? You are most valuable when you are allowing your talents to flow freely, when you're not stressfully reacting and seeking. So here's the deal. You can actually get in contact with who you are in your core. You can be who you truly are, and that will actually make you more valuable. It'll make your time and energy more valuable. It'll make your talents more exclusive. The more talented you allow yourself to become, the more valuable you become because what is rare is valuable. And when we allow our talents to be on full display, that is rare. And so if you can allow yourself to be yourself, you'll be more peaceful. You truly will just be more peaceful. You'll be more giving. You'll feel more full. So what are people around you going to feel? They're going to feel that fullness. They're going to feel that peace. They're going to feel that compassion. So you can actually start impacting the world now and making more money now by getting in touch with who you are. And this is not some flowery metaphor of, hey, you know, be yourself and love yourself and everything will work out. Literally, think about it. Put it under the microscope of logic. You are most valuable when your talents, your energy, and your skill set is free flowing, not constricted and, and edited, right? What is value? What creates money? Your ability to translate value into tangible impact, right? So by being yourself now, by being peaceful now, by getting out of a state of stress and reactive seeking now so you can be powerful in the present moment now, you'll solve more problems, your talents will flow more freely, you will become more valuable because the more you, the more you carve out your talents, the more rare you become, the more rare you are, the more valuable you are, right? And you can actually start positively changing the world now and making yourself more valuable, which will lead to more money now and in the long run. So. Let's wrap it all up here, my friend. If you want to make more money and you want to leave this world a better place than when you found it, you need to get in touch with who you really are and do the work to put that on display in your work, in your business, in your transactions, in your sales, or whatever it is that you do to create exchanges for income to come into your life. Do not, I repeat, do not make the mistake of putting who you really are and cramping it and hiding it and saving it for some magical day when you have enough zeros in your bank account because even if that day comes, and it will be hard to get to that day when you have just silenced yourself, but if that day comes, you will have gotten so good at being stressed out, you will have gotten so good through repetition at being reactive and staying in a state of seeking that it's gonna be really hard to positively change the world when you have so many reps of being a reactive asshole. So do it now. If you need help with this, go to wakeupwealthy.com. We have tons of trainings to help you unlock who you truly are. And again, that's not a metaphor. It literally, neurologically, how to get in touch with your powerful core and let that come out. We also have tons of trainings on how to scale your business, how to become more productive and more effective. So if you like this, go ahead and comment. If you have any questions or you want us to cover different things and different trainings, just comment below. We'll read it and we'll make trainings for you and put them on this YouTube channel. Um, but other than that, yeah, wakeupwealthy.com has has way more in-depth training to help you make more money, grow yourself, grow your business, be a better human, and leave this world better than when you found it. So I'm Julian Rosen. I'm the head coach at Wake Up Wealthy, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.